There is another effort underway to combat the Taliban and al-Qaeda extremists in the western border region of Pakistan near the border with Afghanistan. It involves a plan by Pakistan to arm anti-Taliban tribesmen, tens of thousands of them. Karen DeYoung, the senior diplomatic correspondent of the Washington Post, reported on this today, and she joins us now from Washington. Karen, give us an, uh, an idea, really, the details of this plan and, and why it's needed. Well, these are groups that started to emerge over the summer. One of the problems in this border region, which is called the Fatah, is that the Al-Qaeda and uh, Taliban forces are very closely intertwined with the villages. And it's sort of been assumed that, in fact, they were all uh, working together, or at least that the tribal people were supporting the extremists. Uh, now it turns out that there are a number of tribal leaders who, in fact, don't like what they see as these interlopers in their region. And they have emerged on their own, uh, much the same as the Sunnis did in western Iraq, uh, to, to throw these people out and to resist them. Uh, the Pakistani government has uh, said, well, this looks like a good idea, uh, as has the American government, and the Pakistanis have decided that they will help this movement along by, by increasing uh, their weaponry, the small arms, giving them better rifles and putting them in a better position to resist. There might be some skeptics who would look at this and say, boy, this sounds like it fits so well with what the United States would like to see happen, that perhaps this was influenced by America, was it? Well, I think that's very true, and the Americans have to be very careful in Pakistan. They're not popular. Uh, it is seen uh, widely there that, that the fight against the Taliban and al-Qaeda is America's fight and not Pakistan's fight. Uh, but I think that the Americans have, have stepped very gingerly around this issue. They've been supportive. They don't want to be seen as initiators of it, uh, but they certainly are happy about it. Karen DeYoung with The Washington Post. We were talking about a new plan to combat the Taliban. Thank you very much. You're welcome.